In this video I want to show you how to use Google PageSpeed Insights to see how quickly or slowly your website is loading and how to solve many of the common problems it will highlight using some plugins. What we're going to do is going to test my development site dev.wpdude.com. So what we need to do is go to developers.google.com speed page speed insights I'll link this in below the video in the blog post and then you type in the website you want to test so in this case it's dev.wpdude it'll go off and analyze your site and it'll give you a scoring out of 100 so mobile we have 68 out of 100 desktop 83 out of 100 let's focus on mobile for jump into the results just to answer the question, why do we need to be bothered about uh, page speeds and load speeds? Google use the speed of loading as one of the indicators when setting your rankings in their indexes. So they found that slow loading sites, people abandoned them. Fast loading sites, people found them more responsive and more easy to use. So obviously page load speed is an indicator of usability. So I do advise you to get your site optimized. So let's have a look at the results, what we got. <clears throat> uh, we need to eliminate render block in JavaScript. What does that mean? <laughs> it means uh, that all the scripts that are added to your site for your social media, for your stats, all that kind of thing. If they're loaded at the top of your site, they block the loading of the rest of the site until they're completely loaded too. So if you can load them in the footer, that can speed up the process. There are plugins to do this, don't worry, it's not too complex. Reduce server response time. Well, if we cache the content on your, on your site, it doesn't need to go to the database, so it'll be quicker to load. Um, so moving down, consider fixing browser cache. I'll show you how to do that. Optimize images. Again, I'll show you how to do that. And lastly, the last two are Minify. In my experience, Minify can cause problems. To minify something means you take a script or uh, a style sheet and you remove all the white space from it. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. We'll test that and we'll see if we can increase page load times by adding some minify. Okay, let's work through this list on my development site and install some plugins to speed things up. First thing I'm going to do is look at optimizing images. I've written another blog post about the plugin WP Smush. I'll link it up below this video. But essentially, what we'll do is add add WP Smush, and do something called losslessly compress our images. <laughs> I can only even say it and I might do it. To losslessly compress an image, what we do is take the image and take the meta information out. So each image that you have uploaded to your site will contain lots and lots of uh, meta image about how it was taken, where it was taken, the device that was used to create the image, um, copyright, all that kind of information. It doesn't actually show in the image, but it's held in the file, we can get rid of all that stuff using WP Smush. So if we install that now. Now if you look under media, we've got this WP Smush option. The free version lets you smush 50 images at a time. The pro version lets you click this button once and it'll smush everything that's in your media library. Once you've installed this plugin, any new uploads are automatically smushed as well. And as you can see, it's not the fastest process in the world. So I'll temporarily pause this video and we'll come back once all 180 of these images have been compressed. Okay, so all my images have been smushed now, and it's saved quite a lot of space. I've been watching them as a go, two, three meg per image. 
so it's quite a sizable amount just give an idea of how long that took 180 images approximately 20 minutes so it's not the fastest process in the world but you do it once and then any new images added are smushed as they are uploaded we'll go back to our page speed insights and analyze again you can see our scores gone up But we still have this newsletter one that needs to be smooshed but the majority have worked um, I imagine we're missing two images here and they are because they are too big the pro version will smush those big files but just give you an idea you can fix most of them using smush Next up, let's try and reduce server response time by installing uh, a cache plugin. So, plugins, add new. So the three total cache is the cache plugin I prefer. It. Now W3 Total Cache is a really big plugin and it's pretty complex so what I'll do is I'll activate and configure some of the key uh, components that will speed up your site. The first thing I'm going to do is page cache. Let's go through these options. Um, let's go with defaults on all these um, we could automatically prime the cache just go through these but all those are fine so we'll go with the default settings so on page cache go back to general settings and then enable it we've got various types that we can uh, cache those pages go with the default when you first create a cache